G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at Clover's Renban Sudoku for June 15th, 2024. Uh, my name is Bill Murphy. I'm also one of our setters here at Gas HQ. Philip Newman will be in tomorrow uh, solving something of mine. I don't even remember. Um, but hello uh if this is your first time with us we are genuinely approachable sudoku we solve and make genuinely approachable sudoku for the general public that's you um you can find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below uh you will also find hat times hat times are you know a indicator of how fast or less fast you have solved the puzzle two hats is for a very fast time one hat is for a pretty fast time and everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally uh that being said let's get into today's sudoku from clover so this is a remban sudoku so uh a lot normal sudoku rules apply so each each row each box and each column must contain the digits one to nine once each. Now, uh, there are also purple lines. These purple lines must contain a set of consecutive digits in any order. So uh, this will need a five and a seven, but also this could be seven and five, because uh, they would still contain consecutive digits. Um, that's it, that's, uh, that's all you need to know to solve this puzzle. So, that being said, let's get into it. Uh, now, uh, what any uh, set with one on it must be three, four, and five in these spaces. Because we have a four here, we know that that one must be four. This is three and five. Now, two, three on this could either be one to five or two to six because the lowest digit I can now put on this is six because two, three, four, five. We can put a six on there, uh, five, uh, meaning I now have to put a four and a five on this line. Five here means that this must be four and this is five. Uh, two to seven, uh, sorry, if I have a two on a five cell line, it must once again be one to six or two to, uh, one to five or two to six. Uh, because I cannot place anything other than uh any two three four five or six due to all those cells seeing it this must be one meaning this has to be three or five and finally over here uh nine on this line means it must be five six seven eight nine uh where do i put a six on this line it has to be here now this is five and eight but because i know that three and five are along this line doesn't matter what order they're in this could never be five, so this must be eight, and this is five. Uh, now, four and six needs, oh, and then I'll go and neaten this up. Uh, now, four and six along here means that I must put a five on it somewhere. Uh, five in the box tells us that five must go here. Seven means that this can't be three, uh, four, five, six, seven, so it must be three, four, five, six. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, one and two left to place in column one. This is one, this is two. Four, five, uh, four and six means that five has to be on this line. This is five. Uh, now, because I can't put a three on it, because there's already a three in the box, this must be seven. Five and seven means that this needs to have a six on it somewhere. So six must go here. We already have a four in the box, meaning that this must be eight to form five, six, seven, eight. Uh, what is this cell? If this cell cannot be uh, 5 or 8, it means that this needs to have a 4 on it. And this is 5, which will fix this. Oh, lovely. Um, now, 9 over here, uh, because the box needs 1, 3, and 9. Uh, 1, 3 there puts a one, three in the, uh, these two cells. Because these are on a Rembrandt line, uh, one and three need a two in between them to stay consecutive. Uh, one, two, and seven, uh, seven going here. One and two on the line means that this needs to be a three. Uh, this is an eight and a nine. Now, if this is nine, what uh, eight goes there, but then how do I have a set of uh, consecutive digits along this line? 
I can't. So that must mean this is eight, this is nine, and this is a six, seven pair. Uh, eight here but, uh, to finish off row one, and nine up here to finish off row nine. Uh, nine needs to be consecutive with an eight, and this eight must have a nine on it because there's a seven still left as uh, taken in the box. So, uh, and then one three to place in row two, three down here tells us that this is one, three, and one, three to go there. Now, three, eight, and nine to place in box nine. Uh, three and nine seeing this cell means that this must be eight uh which is very very useful because i need to put uh well i can just do a three there that's a three that's a nine this is six seven to place in here and one two uh we know which way around those go because this is two one two one uh god this is just so lovely and nice two and eight to go there four and nine to go there uh eight is the only digit left in column nine. Uh, one and nine to place here. Four and five, uh, four and seven left to place there. So that's seven, that's four. And now just a little bit of scanning to do in this box. So uh, I can definitely place a two. It coincidentally in the cell that I've got highlighted. Ah, and then where does one go in row six one can't go there because of that one can't go there because of that uh so that's one that's nine four and nine uh one six and seven left to place in column six uh one and six are both seen by that cell so that's seven one and six seven six seven uh this has been renban by clover um hope you've enjoyed it I'm just finishing it off now. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, and I will catch you all next time. Cheers.